Jeanette Chung, and welcome to New Hive Tonight, a new program that explores bees who aren't satisfied with their seemingly preordained lot in life and now struggle to change their fortunes. The reason this is a new program, of course, is because, well, no bee has ever really done it before. Until now, tonight, the bee who brought the insect and human worlds together. He's touched our hearts and our venom bladders. Barry B. Benson. Thanks for having me. You know, you're shorter in person than you look on TV. I'm told the camera adds five millimeters. Barry, your face is everywhere. T-shirts, posters, books. Your mug is on a mug, for bee's sake. There's even a video game. I hadn't heard about the video game. It's both challenging and entertaining. So tell us, where did your hero's journey begin? Well, as you know, Jeanette, aside from having to break your way out of a wax cocoon at birth, college is one of the most challenging times in a young bee's life. Yes, I remember. I went to BU. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, well, it really is the only school. Go, Go BU. BU. Anyway, Jeanette, it all started for me the day after graduation. I was really trying to figure things out. I see. Take us back, Barry, to that first day. Roll it, Hal. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Gotta go. What? No breakfast? No, thanks. I don't want to be late. I can't believe this day has finally arrived. My boy is going to work at Hunnex. Wait till the girls at the nail place hear my Barry graduated BU with straight B's. None of their sons graduated with straight B's. Now go down there, son, and show them you're a Benson. Don't do that! Your father didn't leave on good terms! For the millionth time, <sighs> Janet, I did not steal those post-its. Bye, guys. Oh, Martin, will you stop it? What do I need with boxes and boxes of post-its? Welcome to Honex, making honey the same tried and true way our ancestors did for the last five million years. Honey is brewed here 24-7, 365 days a year. What about leap year? Every four years on February 29th, all workers are treated to a free spa day, followed by a concert in the park. Wow, really? No, just kidding. We make honey that day, too. Oh.
Hello, I'm here with Barry B. Benson. You know, that was amazing, Jeanette. It was really almost like being there. Well, we are broadcast in BHD. It has twice the stripes of BTV. Wow, twice the stripes. Now, Barry, just to give our viewers some background, had you ever been outside the hive before? Oh, no. So what happened? What led you to that first day outside? Well, Jeanette, there comes a time in every bee's life when he has to ask himself what he's made of. Is there something more? So you had an itch? Well, I'm not sure it was an itch exactly. There was definitely some tingling, bordering on a Jones, but a little short of a yen. A Jones? A Jones led you to risk it all to fly with the pollen jocks? Jones, yen. Because you know, I'd heard this all started as a dare. Really? A dare? Hmm. You know, why don't I tell your viewers a little bit about the outside? Please, tell us what you saw that first day. It's been said that just a mere sight of the outside can drive a bee mad. Oh, that's just an old wasp's tail. But it is big and loud. And, well, there is danger around every corner. And don't get me started on the rain. Did you say rain? Pouring rain, crazy rain, and wild animals, and humongous cars, and humans. Humans as far as the eye can see. But other than that, well, let me show you. Uh, Hal, can you roll that? Thanks. You know, I'm going with there. Really? Why? It's in my notes. Oh. Listen up, boys. We got ourselves a doozy of a mission, and it needs to be completed ASAP. Oh, I see recruiting standards are getting more lax every day. What's your name, Bug Juice? Barry B. Benson, sir. No, uh, he's with us, Lou. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, let's go over the basics one more time. We got a rain advisory today, and no matter what some of you hotshots might think, bees cannot fly in the rain. As always, remember, dogs, birds, frogs, hockey sticks, tennis rackets, brooms, and rolled-up magazines are not your friends. Oh, and absolutely no talking to humans. Make me proud, boys. Oh, no petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you drain those flowers. Launch! Take evasive action! Yeah!